Ray Stewart Lark Hill is a hunter's chase for members, females too, or soft ground. Just the four winners, Cabo Doro, Martin Leiden, that's the tip. He believes this horse won't be off this rating again, so he must fancy his chances. Classic chance, Alex Cherry, Kate Spinchy, Hollywood, and Lady Sharona also Alex Cherry. Just the four winners then, Alex has two in the race, Martin and Hollywood. Release and trains of regulars in the Hunter Spear. Martin goes Hunter Champion last season. He had a big battle with Mark Kubat. Last yet to have the run of this season in the Hunters. They jumped back and Carbo Dora just leading from Kate Spinchy in second. <laughs> Lee Sharona and Classic Chance together. Third for Classic Chance. I'll be turning at 10 years old now. Classic Chance. None of these have any hurdle forms, so they all on ch Classic Chance 99 waiting, as is Cabo Doa. 98 Kate Spinchy and Lynch was 97. There's not much in the handicap, so um, it's uh, very tight actually. Very tight. And uh, if anything's got any ability, it will surely win by a distance. And it's Kate Spinchy, if there's a moderate, of course. Kate Spinchy leads by a length and a half from his second place, Lady Sharona. And then comes Caradora, and then the old man of the party classic chance. He's already a couple lengths off him. But the great Kate Spinchy is taking him along. Derek Intons. Oh, I've got another two to three lengths clear of Caradora in second. Back in third is Lady Sharona and then Classic Chance in fourth. And jumping that, and a good jump in second by Cavador, took him closer to the front running Kate Spinchy. Settling down in third is Lady Sharona. His table mate and companion Classic Chances are still a bad marker but fell lengths off him. <coughs> so a steady pace here at Mark Hill. For the members, self crowned. And a jump in next. All we'll jumping it safely. Kate Spinchy stretched his lead to about six lengths now. Cabo Dora took a big risk in. He hit it hard and he's dropped back into third. And he didn't want to be too many mistakes like that. He'll pass in the lollipop circuit in front of him. Yeah, at Lark Hill. Kate Spinchy, four to five lengths clear. Lady Sharona back in second. Jumping that one. And a slow jump on the rear by a classic chance. He's losing ground. He lost ground at that end fence now because he because of the slow jumping. He lost a length or two and he can't afford to do that. And it's Kate Spinchy who's been jumping economically at the moment. And jumps that one well as well. So also threw it well but lately shot now that's the second mistake from Carol Dora in third. Classic chance is back in fourth. And uh, he needs to pick his legs up a bit Carol Dora. But Kate Rinchy leads three to four from Lady Sharona in second. Carol Dora in third and classic chance. A couple of lengths off from in fourth, I jumped the water. I uh, jumped to say better that time Carl and in fact gained the place as well. But Kate Spinchy has shown a clean pair of ooze at the moment. A four to five clear, Lady Sharona in second, Carl in third, and Classic Chance has closed that gap to about four lengths, jumping that one, and is actually getting closer to him all the time. His jumping's got quicker as it gone on. All oh, jumping well now. Uh, Kate Winchy leads from second place Cavador on the inside of Lady Sharona. And then classic chance. Oh, jump that and slow jump again by Lady not Lady Sharona, that was by Cavador top my eye. He didn't look like he jumped slowly there. Because I was watching the I may <coughs> be mistaken. It's Vinci. 
jump well we on so far. I hope that's not. No, it's okay. He jumped that one uh, all as well. Cowardora and uh, Lady Shaw are switching places all the time in second and third. A classic chance, like the leader, kept his position. Same all the way around. They got to the seven for a mark, and Kate Finch has been closed down a bit. Lady Sharona's jockey, Virgin, is nudging his up now in second, and he jumped down well. Cowardora still, and that's also now decided that his jockey decided to close up in third. So those three now, he's put two lengths between all three, and throw a blanket over them. They're about six to seven, it's clear. Oh, classic chance who may have been caught unaware there that as the pace quicker they jumped that one yeah. and they bounced to front now and the three of them were in line. Yeah. Cabado in the middle, yeah. Kate Spinchy and Lady Sharona, they're coming towards the next fence. Yeah. Uh, they do so sort a of ditch and there the best jump was on the inside of Cabador. Yeah. These just had a Kate Spinchy Lady Sharona classic. Yeah. Chance is now closing up in four, he's only a length and a half behind them. They're under four left to run. And there's no Lady Shimona sticks her head in front for the first time, just by a length from Clavel Door. Kate Spinch has come under pressure, joined in first by the improving classic chance. They jumped the first, they jumped that one. Lady Shimona leads by a length. Clavel Door trying hard in second to get back on on trap, but Lady Shimona's running around at the moment, looks to be going better. Jumps the next fence, jumps it two lengths clear from Clavel Door. Is she going to find anything off the bridle? Because the trader stated it might have a bit of Having a problem here for days so two left and Lady Shimona drawing away. She's four or five lengths clear now, and it looks like the stamina has gone on Carbador as Lady Shimona jumps the second last. She's drawing away six, seven lengths clear now. Carbador, classy chance of moved into third pass. Kids, even she up towards line to go over the last up towards the Lady Shimona and Alex Cherry. Got to get a mark off them to stay today. He's got to win by easy six, seven lengths. Cowardor in second, classic chance held on for third. You know, from the really new effort of Kate Spinchy. But a win for Alex Cherry then. And now will go on to his 39 for you. Join us back here at Lark Hill in a minute. 